Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. This is where you're learning everything that you need to know about how to be a pharmacy technician. Okay, hey, good morning y'all. So I am at work and today we are going to focus on just discussing how to operate a Pixis machine, okay? So I'm not going to have any patient's information showing. I'm not gonna pull up any patient's information here. Actually, let me take these keys off of my wrist really quick. These are used for the return bin, and yes, I've started doing my own nails. Oh, I'm so proud. Anywho, so we're gonna go ahead and get signed in here this morning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my information in, and it's asking for my fingerprint, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I may be making this video, you know, just for my aspiring pharmacy technicians. Let me take my mask off. For my aspiring pharmacy technicians and also for my students as well. So right now, I'm not going to be actually putting medications into the Pixis. We'll do that a little bit later. So I'm going to show you the, the things that I check in the morning um, whenever I'm out and about. And I do this at every single Pixis every single morning. So the first thing that I'll do, I'll go to more. And as you can see, there's a list but as far as pharmacy technicians, we only have to, to handle just a, a, a few of these. So you have auto load, data synchronization, D-stock. We do use D-stock. D-stock is if we want to take out a medication and put it into another Pixis, okay? So I can actually hit D-stock here. So say for instance, I want to D-stock acetaminophen. Oh, where did it go? We'll, we'll say acetaminophen suppositories. As you can see, it says acetaminophen, which is the generic name for uh, Tylenol. And this hasn't been used. See here where it says days unused. So that hasn't been used in 15 days, which that's not what we're focusing on. So if I wanted to destock this medication, I would select it and hit destock. And there's supposed to be a quantity of six in there. So I'm going, and also it says that this is drawer six pocket 15 okay so we the main thing we need to look, look for is pocket 15 so let's find pocket 15 which is right here so there should be six of those in which there is there's one two three four five six but i'm not going to destock any but if i needed to if i need to say destock two of these and we had a patient that needed one and we didn't have any in the pharmacy i would just break one off um, or if I needed to take a couple more to another Pixis, I would just break off however many I needed and destock that quantity. But this is just for the video's sake, but I don't need to destock anything. So there's six in there. So what I'll do is I'll come back here and I'll say that yes, there is six. I'll accept that. And I'm not going to destock any, so I'm just going to hit accept. I'll close that drawer back. Okay, from this point, what I'm going to do is go back to more. So there's the D-stop, there's the device settings, there's discrepancies. Usually there's a little orange tab here that says discrepancies, but there's not one. So the next thing that I'm going to go to is empty return bin. Okay, so there's supposed to be an apotropium, a du basically a duo nebulizer, which it does say that right here. So this is like a combo nebulizer. It has apotropium in there, and then it also has albuterol. This is going to open the lungs. So it has 2.5 milligrams of apotropium, 0.5 milligrams of albuterol, and this is a three mil um, ampule. So let's see if this is going to be in the return bin. So this is where these keys come in handy right here. So the return bin is right here. So I'm gonna open this up and sometimes you can get your finger in there. I mean, this is this is metal. So, all right. So I just double check this and that's what this is. This is uh, ipotropium bromide right here and albuterol right there. So it does say that I have a quantity of one. So I'm gonna verify that that is correct. And I'm also going to accept that, okay? Now due to um, COVID and everything, we are doing uh, exactly what we need to do. We are making sure that these medications, because someone else, someone else's hands have been on this. So let me go ahead and close this. Okay. So someone else's hands have been on this. So we're going to quarantine this for three days. We have a, a particular location set aside. 
to quarantine this for three days. And I think that that's absolutely wonderful that we're doing that. Okay, moving right along. So now the next step. We're not going to do a global fine. Um, I'm really not even sure what that is. I guess it's just the fine of medication. Uh, inventory count. This is just in case um, maybe back in the pharmacy that the inventory is off. You can come here and you can verify exactly what's in your pixels. All right. So then we're going to go from here. And we're going, that's maintenance. Then we have to do outdates in the morning. So we're going to click that. And there's not any outdates, but I still like to look at the expiring medication. This one's not going to expire until the 19th, so we'll leave that there. Give me this one on. Okay, so from there, we are going to recover storage space. There's not anything to recover, and if there was, there would be a box here with a slash in the middle. There will be an orange colored box, and we don't have to do any reports. So that's actually all we have to do are the outdates and the return bin as far as in the morning. So the most important thing is that we are going to sign completely out. I have a nurse that's waiting on me and we will go to our next business. Okay, so we are in another location. Uh, this is just everything that the, that the uh, nurses will use. We don't handle any of this. Uh, there's an area uh, down in the basement that stocks all of this for the nurses and everything. Now, as far as anything that has to do with the Pixies, we will be handling everything as far as refilling the Pixis machine. So this is this is our responsibility. Okay, so I'm just trying to pan over everything, making sure that there's no patient information and there's not. Okay. So again, I'm going to get signed in here. I'm trying to look over the camera while I get signed in. All right, same thing, waiting on my fingerprint. So I'm just going to put my fingerprint there. Okay. So same thing as last, I'm not going to go through all of these since we've already been through these. So now I'm just going to do exactly what I came here for, which is to empty the return bin. As it says, uh, there are no results to display. So there's no need of us opening this since there's nothing uh, on the screen to display as far as the return bin. There's, there's nothing in here. All right. So that means I'm going to go ahead and accept that. One task down. Then I'm going to go, excuse me. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to uh, where is it? Outdate. See if there's any medications that needed to be outdated. And there's not. There's no results to display. Um, this, is, this isn't this is going to expire until the 24th of 2021. Uh, this is a controlled narcotic. It's Lunesta for sleep. But again, we're not going to pull that because the, a nurse could possibly still need that and it's not going to expire for you know another week or so so we're going to sign out and i will see you guys a little later i'm going to go to every location and do the same exact thing and i will return when it's time to start loading the pixels if you would like to become a certified pharmacy technician and you are super super serious look in my comments look in the description there's a link specifically for you if you are serious about becoming certified click that link and get started okay also, there's a lot of people that sometimes have trouble with the math. Now we have a program specifically for individuals that need help on the math. That'll also be uh, probably in the comments. If you can't find it, just click on another video. It'll be there, okay? All right, okay, all right. Okay, so now we are actually going to be putting um, these medications into the pixels. This is the five south area. So that's, that's where I'm located right now. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not showing anything. Okay, and I'm not. I don't have anything patient-specific or anything like that. Okay. So these are just two... Oh, I have to take this mask off. I'm sweating. I'm getting a sweating mustache. Anyway, these are just 250 mil uh, sodium chloride bags. So I'm going to add these into the kit. Just going to add some vancomycin. I have some 50 mil NS bags to where it says sodium chloride and the 50 mil is right about. So I'm going to add those. I also got some a narcotic that I have in here that I have to, have to add to the pixels as well. So let me just go ahead and scoop this little buggy on over here. Kind of position it for me kind of comfortably. All right, let me get signed in. Oh, 
I don't know what has happened since I've been here. It's like I've just gotten sick all of a sudden. Okay, so now, okay, and now this is just for pharmacy technicians. This is really not for nurses. Uh, this is just for the pharmacy technician inputting uh, the medication into the pixies. This is not something that the nurses will be doing. This is uh, mainly solely for the for the pharmacy technicians. All right, I'm trying to pick these up. All right, now. The first thing that we're going to put in is the vancomycin uh, 1.5 grams and there's 300 uh, milliliters of fluid. I'm not sure if this is D5 or if this is a uh, uh, normal saline, but actually look like it's, uh, I don't know if this is water, whatever it is, we're putting it, we're, we're putting it into the pixies. So the first thing that we're going to do in order to load your pixies, we're going to hit load and refill. Ah! I'm trying to get this one down up here. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the barcode and we are going to scan that medication. After we scan that medication, it does say that this medication is in drawer 2, pocket 10, and this is actually in a tower. So we're going to come over here to this, this big tower right here. We're going to come over here to this. And we're going to, this is pocket 2, 1, 2, 2, and number, <clears throat> number 10. So we're going to scan number 10. But on our screen it says that there's one in there and that is absolutely correct there's one so while i have this open i would just like to go ahead and look at the date and the date on here is october of 21 oh there it is sorry october 21 uh so that's 10 21 so many people have so much trouble with knowing that january means one three means march eight means august 11 means november you know people struggle with that Okay, so the next thing that you have to do is look at your date that you're going to, what meds you're going to put into the pixie. So let me stand this up real quick. Let's see. All right. So, I'm trying not to pop myself with this rubber band. So I'm just going to go through each one of these and just check the date. So everything looks to be 10 21. 10, 21, 10, 21. Okay, yes, that is correct. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back at 1 because I kind of got moved some, some things on my keyboard here. So now we're going to accept that that's 1, okay? And we are going to be putting in 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to put 4 here. That's how many we're going to refill. And if you just... Look at the computer, look at the screen. It'll tell you exactly what you need to do because it does ask you right here, how, how many are you refilling? And we're refilling four. Our expiration date is 4 31 21. okay? So I'm just gonna put these four in here. And it doesn't matter um, as far as rotating them because all of these dates are exactly the same. Now, if I would've had some that, that um, were expiring a little bit earlier, then I would've pulled those to the front. Now, either you can just close this and, and, and that will accept it or either you can hit accept right there. But for me, I'm just going to close it and it went right back to my main screen here. Still under load and refill, as you can see, still under load and refill. Okay, so now we're going to go to another mid. So now this one is going to be uh guafenicin and codeine that's what that is so I'm saying, same it's all the same process i'm gonna scan it and see where that drawer popped open down there let me pull it out a little bit closer with my leg and that cubie that cubie just popped open so now same thing we're gonna verify the quantity but we can't because this is our narcotic so we actually have to enter the count so the count is going to be two of those so that's what I'm going to put in two. I'm going to accept. So we are going to refill this with four. Four. So before we do that, let's check the expiration date. This is 10, 10 22. And I got these all out of the same container. That one's 10 22. And let's just verify what dates these are. That's uh 10 22. Sorry, my nose is running. And this one also is. 1022. So we're good. So I'm going to open this bag. <sighs> I hope you guys are having a good day. These allergies just hit me all of a sudden. 
Okay, so I'm just going to drop those in there and I'm just going to close that. Close that bottom drawer and we're ready to do another one. We're ready to do another one. So I'm going to turn back over here and I'm going to, oh yeah, I got a couple more. Oh, I got a couple more down in here. And it's best to stay well organized whenever you're putting all these meds in. And uh, just keep yourself together here. All right, so the next one, we are going to be putting in, what is this? Esotalopram, okay? All right, so we're gonna scan that. See how that drawer just popped open and that QB popped open? It says there should be one. And let's see how many there are. There is one. Oh, God, I got spots on my hand. Okay, anyway, the other moles. All right, so the expiration date on this is 2 of 22. I'm trying to get that in focus where you guys can see it. That's 222, so that one expires 222. Let's see when these expire. These are going to expire the same thing, 222. So I'm going to accept that there's one, and I'm going to put 10. And there's only 28 days in February, and that's actually my birthday. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to break some of these... We're gonna break some of these up so they can actually fit inside of here. So let me see how I can get this together. So I'm gonna break these apart, as you can see here. And I'm not gonna break all of them apart because when we get ready to check the expiration dates, we don't wanna look at every single one. So you don't wanna break every single one of them apart just to where they're comfortable and they'll fit and they're not touching the top. And I'm gonna close that. Okay, we're ready for our next one. All right, we'll do one more. But I really think, you know, you have you have this. All right. And we're still on the load and refill menu. Okay. So we're going to scan that one. And this popped open there. And it says that there should be three of those. And there is three. Let me scoot this over a little bit. So there is three of those. So the expiration date on those. It's kind of hard to see there. It's hard for you to see anyway. It's going to be 622 for those two. For this one, it is going to be 622 as well. Let's check out the expiration date for these. The expiration date for these are 622 as well. You can see that. And I believe I got these both out of the same box. So, yes, 622. All right, so I'm going to break these down. So I'm gonna break these down like so. Ooh, you see, I hate when that happens, but sometimes it's inevitable when your date rips off, I hate that. So I'm gonna just take my time with this one a little bit better. And sometimes you can take your time and it still rips. So that was 20. So. I'm still on this verify count screen, so I verified that there was three. So now I'm going to put 20. Okay, I have two more. So I'm going to grab these. I always like to write the location down. So we're right here at this screen. I'm going to take this off, of course. This doesn't need to go in the pixel. So I'll put that in the trash. So we're going to find the barcode, which is right here, and we are going to scan this item, and this window right here popped open this drawer, so it says drawer 2, pocket 4, so we need pocket 4, and there's there's some already in there, so let's see how many is in there, she said there should be 3, so let's see if there's actually 3, alright, and there is 3, Let's look at these dates while we're in here. That's 12-1. see if I can get you to see that. 
12 and one of 21. Let's check these others. Uh, 5 and one 22. We'll leave this 21 in the front. And then we have 10 one 21. So this, this one is going to expire sooner. So let's take a look at these. These are 12, 12, 1, 21, and these all came out of the same spot. So we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull this 10, 21 out because we wanna, we wanna put that one in first, so they'll uh, pull, so the nurses will pull that one instead of the others, and we have four of those. So there's three down there, and then I have one. So let me get these put in real quick. And these are, to me, these are kind of heavy. This is a, these are liter bags. So they're kind of heavy. So I'm just gonna put this one up here because that's our last one. Let me grab this other one. Woo. This mask, I gotta pull this mask off. I'm the only person in here. Woo. All right, now, remember how I told you whenever you close this drawer, that's almost like just the same as hitting accept. So I'm going to close it out and let you watch the screen. And that just accepts it. All right, this is our last one. And then I'll have to go back to the pharmacy and finish pulling more meds for three more different locations. So this is going to expire 1022. I have probably 10 of those. Scan that. That should be in pocket seven, uh, drawer seven, pocket 25. So let's get down here and look for our pocket 25, which is over there in the corner. All right, we'll take this trash out of there. And so there was zero in there. And we're going to add 10. And our expiration date is. Uh, 1022 and you always choose the last day of the month we're going to accept that I'm just going to go back down here and just pour all these in to pocket number 25 we're going to close that and we are actually done that is it and that is how you work a pixis machine from the pharmacy technicians aspect all right you guys have a good day and i will be seeing you soon